So what I think I'm gonna do this morning is try out a new smoothie with some more anti-inflammatory ingredients. Um, so normally what I do is have a smoothie with frozen banana, um, Greek yogurt, blueberries, cherries, um, some protein powder, like whey-based protein powder, um, and almond milk. So I'm gonna switch it up and try and make it a little more friendly for my anti-inflammation goals. So I'm going to include um, that spinach that we got in the CSA, since I'm also trying to show how I use everything in the CSA. Um, I'm going to use the frozen banana, I'm going to use the almond milk still. I'm also going to put in some grated up ginger, uh, which adds a nice kind of like kick. Um, I think makes it taste not as just like vanilla-y and bland um, and makes it taste really fresh. So I have this that I'm excited for. I'm also not going to do the whey protein. Um, I think I'm going to try to switch out to plant-based protein just because one of the other things I'm trying to do is reduce ways to kind of be a little more environmentally conscious. Right now, I'm not going to supplement anything though. Um, as part of this clinical trial, I can't take any vitamins, can't, like even fish oil, I can't take fish oil, I can't take my daily vitamins, so I am not doing any additional things in my diet. So I'm not adding plant-based protein into this smoothie, but that's something that you could do. I'll obviously add blueberries still, but they're great antioxidants, and then kind of um, tinker around with it, maybe some frozen mango and frozen pineapple. So we'll see. I was legit almost just freaking out because I couldn't find the frozen bananas and that is something that I always try to have a lot of. So I like intentionally over buy bananas and then split them up and put them in a freezer bag. And I couldn't find them. So this is the spinach from the CSA. And I don't know about you, but I'm used to always buying uh, baby spinach. And yeah, the leaves are just kind of rip easily. This, I guess, is just like full-grown spinach it's not baby and the texture is so different um, but this leaf it's you really can't tell but it's like so thick I don't know you can like roll it and it doesn't break so I don't know how this will go in the smoothie maybe we'll try a little bit of this CSA spinach and then save the rest for some salad soups um, and then also do some like typical baby spinach so I'm not just like changing everything and then we end up with this weird like spinach stew. We have like three big mondo leaves in there and then I'm gonna add the baby spinach. So the next ingredient are these blueberries. These I got from Costco and these ones are new. They are so amazing. They're just really tiny. Um, and they pack a punch. I don't know. They're just so good. So I'll add probably just short of a cup of blueberries. So I'm um, just some Trader Joe's. Gonna add some mango. Probably like just a little over half a cup. I went to Trader Joe's, which I don't go to super often, um, but I feel like it's really good for like a few weird little things here and there that you can stock up on and then have for a few months. Um, and so kind of in the same vein as being all pumped on the chia seeds, since they're a good source of omega-3 fatty acids, I decided to pick up a few things that I kind of in the past have been like, eh, what does that really do anything? Is that like necessary? I'm not going to have that in my diet. Um, and so omega-3 fatty acids are important because they're one of the fatty acids that your body doesn't naturally produce itself. Um, and so that's why, you know, there's all this stuff about like eat fish, take your fish oil. Um, and that's why I was trying to eat the chia seeds because it is a really good anti-inflammatory. So in that same vein, I decided to pick up this, which is organic flaxseed meal. Um, and so in order to get the omega-3 um, fatty acid benefits from flaxseed. Apparently it's best if you have it ground up. It kind of like releases it. Um, so I got this version which is ground up to kind of like put on top like granola yogurt parfait thing or salads. Um, it has like apparently a nutty taste. I don't know. I haven't tried it. Um, but I'm trying it now. And then also got some golden roasted flax seeds. Um, these are whole. So yeah, never had flax seeds before, and I bought like these two huge bags of them because that's just what I do. I go overboard sometimes. So I'm going to put in the, the whole ones because they will get ground up in the blender, so I don't need the already ground flax seeds. I 
think like uh, a hefty tablespoon. It does smell really good. It does smell nutty. Now, I'm going to add the almond milk. The ginger is definitely good, but it's all a little more bland than I was expecting. Hmm, I think I'm gonna put in just a few pieces of pineapple to kind of like, I don't know, sweeten it up or tang it up or add kind of like an acid, I don't know. And the reason I didn't want to add more liquid to get it blending again is because I want it to be thick um, and kind of almost like a, like as much of an ice cream consistency as possible um, so that I can put it in a bowl and then top it with things. Oh, hi! Oh yeah, that's really good. That's really good. Okay, so I have my delicious smoothie in my 2018 Ultimate Frisbee National Championships glass. RIP me. Um, so I guess I'll just update. There's like so much to cover. So I guess I need to just uh, start with saying that recovery is going well. Had a little bit of a setback yesterday. Had to have kind of like a, an emergency call with the doctor. <sighs> Basically the sites, the arthroscopic sites opened up again and I think it's kind of a combination of um, maybe like doing too much with the physical therapist and kind of like using like creams while she was massaging that she wasn't supposed to do and I probably didn't do a good job conveying that to her so my bad. Um, and then also I was cleared to go swimming. So Monday when the scissors came out, the doctor cleared me to swim. Wednesday I hopped in the pool. All the steri strips came off, which is I guess unusual. That's not supposed to happen. And um, I think all of that water just made it so that the sites opened up. So that was not good. I have an appointment on Monday with a doctor in Georgetown that my surgeon up in New York, like emergency called. It's a buddy of his doing him a solid, doing me a solid by getting me in, squeezing me in in the afternoon. Um, just gonna make sure that there's no infection because that would really derail this whole clinical trial. So lesson learned for me I am like a fragile glass woman now, so I need to just like Stop doing things just really really take chill out to like levels that I didn't know were possible So that's what I'm doing um, But other than that recovery has been going really really well um, I've had like sort of an epiphany about recovery and how we treat our bodies and it's changing my perspective on things and I think it's um, a good perspective to have and a good lesson to learn now and it's something that I'm going to carry on with me through the rest of my life I imagine um, so you saw I'm kind of like all into like the healing yourself from within by eating well and then um, you know trying to take it easy on my body which is something that I can't really remember ever doing so this is like foreign territory for me um, but I mean it's just the data that I've been collecting on myself with my Fitbit is just pretty compelling and I think a huge component of that is just slowing down calming down and prioritizing sleep so kind of what I'm talking about is um, over the last year my resting heart rate has averaged between 60 and 61 beats per minute um, uh, which is fine, but uh, I mean, I also feel like I'm a pretty like uh, fit person, so I wasn't sure why it wasn't ever really lower. Um, and I think probably the reasons for that were obvious. So you'll see. Here's what my sleep looked like the week before I went into surgery, and this was more. This like is more or less standard. Um, like slightly worse than what has been for the last two years but this has pretty much been my life the last two years and trying to do um, full-time work 
part-time grad school, um, having two fellowships on top of that, um, and then trying to train like a competitive athlete on top of that. And then, you know, biking everywhere instead of driving. So this is kind of like what my life has looked like the last two years. So over the last week and a half or two weeks since surgery, since I haven't been able to do anything, I literally come home and sit on the couch and ice my leg. Um, some pretty remarkable things have happened. So my heart rate, here you'll see, um, this is what it looks like. Uh, this is a trend line. So after a week and a half with doing nothing, like no working out, nothing, um, it dropped from, the resting heart rate dropped from 60-ish, 61, down to 54, which is kind of crazy. It's never been that low for me since I've been tracking, which has only been like a year. Um, so that was kind of a wake-up call for me. Like, oh, I was constantly running like my body um, at a heightened level of stress that it really didn't need to be. You know, I had plenty of time while sitting on the couch to assess my life, assess what my job is like, what work is like, and there really is no reason for me to be stressed. Like, or at least, you know, I can be stressed slightly but there's no reason to have it be to have it impact my uh, body like that so that was super eye-opening for me and also I was like sitting on the couch watching YouTube videos and I was watching all these like wellness blogger vloggers which um, is like a total trap you know they make life look so glamorous but it made me realize there are some changes I can do um, I don't need to be so scared of fats, for example. So I feel like in the CrossFit community, um, there's kind of this, there's been this backlash against paleo. And so people are starting to eat carbs again now, which is good to like fuel performance. But at the same time, there's still this um, kind of fear of fats. And so I never ate things like um, nut butters and I wouldn't want to have things like chia seeds and flax seed because it has fat in it and you just don't need that extra fat or at least that was my mindset um, when I was trying to fuel for performance. I am not performing anymore um, and so I don't need to be fueling for that so I can change my diet and um, eat other things and actually I think eating more of these fats these healthy fats will help restore your hormonal balance um, just kind of bring better wellness to your life. So that is kind of one of the key takeaways I've had from all of this. Um, I also have had time to focus on other things that bring me happiness, like art, reading. I decided I really want to take care of our plants. So we have so many beautiful plants. Um, Frankie is such a good gardener, has such a green thumb, um, and I just love them too. And I realized I wasn't really taking care of them. so. I am just enjoying the process of like watering them, wiping down their leaves to make sure there's no dust on them, you know, so that they can get all the photosynthesis that they need. And it's just little things like that that are kind of, I think, restoring a sense of calm and relaxation to my life that had been lacking for, I would say, at least four years. Um, yeah, pretty much at least since 2015. Um, so that's where I'm at now. I feel like um, this last week I kind of got away from that and was losing sight of it and going back into the routines that I had established for myself. Uh, but I wanted to take this weekend to sort of recenter and refocus on these things that um, I want to prioritize now. And so that starts with this smoothie, <laughs> as silly as that sounds. Um, and I want to also just kind of um, you know, reduce waste. I have all these, I bought some, um, I know you're not supposed to like buy more and more, but sometimes to get started to do. So I got some glass bottles. I'm going to start making my own, um, home cleaner. I got the ingredients for that. As you see, we already are a member of a CSA. So I want to show how I'm using all of the ingredients in that and trying to reduce waste, trying not to compost, um, a, like any of it. It would be great if we could use all of it. So that's part of my goal in this video as well. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, it's later in the day and next up, I'm going to try to use these carrots from the CSA um, because they are looking a little wilty and sad. So I want um, 
to use. I was going to do like a soup with the carrots or something, a ginger carrot soup to get that ginger in again. Um, and then with these stems, I thought they were poisonous, but that's just an old live sale. Uh, I'm going to do like kind of a pesto chimichurri sauce with them instead. And I'm also going to toss in some of the basil that came in the CSA. And then pretty much the only, only other ingredients you need are garlic, which is also great for inflammation, um, some Parmesan cheese, and olive oil. So I'm going to whip that up in the food processor and then show you the end product. Up throwing in some pine nuts for a little bit of a nutty taste. I was looking for walnuts, but we had pine nuts, so that seems totally legit. And then also, I am tossing in some of this green basil. I decided to save the purple one for something where we're just eating it kind of raw, like on a burger or something. Um, and then I thought this would preserve that nice green color too. And this just smells so good. There it is. Nice. Turned out really well. Ended up using all the basil though. So really tastes more like normal pesto with some filler of carrot tops. But hey, we're using everything. So our last recipe, we are doing a chicken soup. And I wanted to do chicken ginger just because of the anti-inflammatory properties of ginger. Just on heat right now, we have the carrots, the onion, and threw in some red potatoes just because we had them all from our CSA um, and we'll kind of cook that up. The media parmesan! Hmm. <laughs> this will do. This will do? This will do. It's pretty good, huh? Yes. So just stirred in some coconut milk, added salt and pepper. Delish. Yeah. <laughs>